Hi, okay. So this video is about how to retrofit a regular natural gas stove to run off of propane. This is a very important thing to be able to do, especially if you live off-grid like I do and you don't have access to natural gas. And propane stoves are just kind of pain in the ass. I've been using butane stoves, which work, but there's so much canisters that you go through. It's just not worth it on so many levels. So what I like to do is retrofit things. So what we have here is a natural gas stove, which I bought off of Craigslist for 50 bucks. It's used, but it's in perfect condition. It's glass, and I'm very happy about it. It's a four burner stove. Um, so I also have a propane tank here. So what we've done is, here's the materials. Stove. Propane tank, propane regulator hose, which you can get at Home Depot, okay, it's not too expensive. Uh, hose clamp, okay, we use the half inch hose clamp, again, just buy it at Home Depot or look around the ground, I mean, they're, they're everywhere. Uh, and then the fitting here is... I believe it's a 5 8 inch MIP by 1 half inch barb or 1 quarter inch barb. I wish I knew, but basically a barb looks like this. Okay, so what you got is... What you got is... There, that looks like it. Half inch or five eighths inch MIP, that's this end. Okay, male iron pipe. By quarter inch or half inch barb. So barb is, think of barbed wire. You know, where it's like this. Kind of thing, whatever. So it gets stuck, you know what I mean? Barb, barb, gets stuck on the barbs. Barbecue. No, don't be barbecue. So this is what it looks like, basically. Um, yeah. So that barb goes into the pressure regulator. The pressure regulator comes with the stove, and what I did was I just took off the pressure regulator and I brought it into the hardware store, and I fitted the uh, this to the pressure regulator. Okay. So next question that you might have is, why did you cut this? Well, I cut this so that, well, maybe you don't know that I cut it. Basically what I did was, you take this pressure regulator, the propane pressure regulator, and you cut the end of it off. So it came with this end. So I cut this end of it off, right? Because this is the wrong thread size for that, uh, for that, okay? Um, I do believe you need a compression fitting. Uh, I'm really not too certain about that. No, I'll go with the MIP. Um, better yet, just bring your pressure regulator in for the natural gas stove. And that'll tell you exactly what size you need. So basically what I did was I cut this with a saw, a metal saw. Okay, very easy to cut through this. You want to use a metal saw because there is metal in here. Just little pieces of, of metal strand, metal wire. Um, and then, uh, so these are the only tools that you'll really need. Um, is a metal hacksaw and... 16th wrench. Right, sorry, this tutorial's all over the place, but the 11 16th inch wrench is for this here. Okay, so maybe that's what size it is, 11 16th. Again, I'm not too sure. Just bring in the pressure regulator. Try it out at Home Depot. It'll give you the right size. Um, you can test stuff out of the package. It's no big deal. Okay, so. Now, the question is, does it work? 
So, by the way, when you open propane tanks, or any tanks, go all the way, and then back it off a little bit so that you don't crank it open. Go back a little bit so you know, okay, it's already open. All right, so we go there. And again, I'm off grid, so I've got a lighter because the electronic sparkers are not gonna work here. So let's try it out. Put it on high. Whew! That works. Definitely got my fingers burnt. <laughs> I can smell the hair. There you go. Safe propane. What can I tell you? That's how to do it. There needed to be a tutorial on this. It's very, very simple to put propane into a natural gas stove. I've done it twice now. You can do it too. Quit buying propane and using those shitty little stoves. And, uh, or butane, I'm sorry. Those butane stoves are just, they're not where it's at. Propane isn't where it's at. But what you could do is gasify wood and turn it into, uh, forget what that fuel is called. You can store that fuel in a pressurized cell like a propane tank. And that way you'd be able to have very sustainable, clean, off-grid power. Look up gasifier. That's the next step to this process. So, until next time, ciao.